from now, your words say me like this. Any seconds from now, your words say me like this. Any moment from now, you can see me like this again. No more again. No more again. No more again. Oh, no more. Any minute from now, your words say me like this. Any seconds from now, your words say me like this. Any moment from now, you can see me like this. Again, no more. Again, yeah, no more. Again, again, yeah. again, no more, no more. Again, yeah, oh, no more. You won't see me like this. You can't see me like this. Again, no more. Again, yeah, no more.
trusted me, yeah, he trusted me now. Amen. 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 I just bless Abba Yehua for the little ability he gave me for now. So family, here we are again <laughs> in the heavenly cut room of Abba Yehua with this powerful life-giving message already titled for you and me right at part one, the mystery of black color is what serpent and his seeds fears the most. Part three. Family case, I share this in the news feed, and you haven't listened to one and two. Please drop this and go and listen to one and two. All right, so part one, oh no, it was awesome, powerful. Then part two, with the with the first lecture of this work called Black the B, listen to it, it is powerfully established. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now to Abbey will be all glory. So we are still on the very first letter B. We okay, where are we? We stop over. We were still digging because the first alphabet of this worker black simply go for blue blood lineage, not red blood. Okay. So listen to one and two in order for you to understand. It is powerful. Me, I won't like to miss something like this. Not at all. I want to see what, what was that? Yeah, the letter, the blue blood. Go and listen to it. No need to re repeat any words over here. So right now, we stop at where, 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 where do I stop? Uh, yes, John 5, 3. Uh, 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 that one is already done. So right now, what is the red blood? I think that is what we want to. Okay, yes. Let me, Revelation uh two uh four excuse me two to three okay revelation two to three is speaking of a uh, uh stones that is red and like a mystery that i did i think that was last year then i said it doesn't really necessarily a red stone but rather it's still speaking of genealogy okay because i bet you what it's using what we knew here on earth to minister unto us that is what I, that is that because that stone, I call it blood over there, okay, because it was red. Yes, that is what we know for now. He, you know, Yahushua said to Nicodemus in this same John 5, uh, 3, okay, Ch uh, John chapter 3. He said, if you cannot understand the earthly one, how are you going to understand the heavenly one? So he's using the earthly one to minister unto us. That was why he also allowed you who cannot. So, so uh, the stone being blood, sad is also okay. So, it not, doesn't really necessarily stop talking about red, it's talking about blood. All right, so we know according to scripture, blood, red blood, it is what corruption, it is a sign of corruption. So, right now, I want to put some more and uh, no more, uh, you know, sentiment or whatever. <laughs> so, I want to uh, read the scriptures now, first of all. Oh, where is it again? Okay. All right, now here I am, Hebrews chapter 9, verses 22. And almost all things, almost all things are by the Lord purged with blood. And without shedding of, of blood, 
It's not remission. So what blood are we talking about here? Obviously, it's not going to be the red blood. Right now, when you check out your vein, the desoginated blood right in your vein, when a dot or a doctor or whatever put a needle, okay, and drag and you know bring out the blood, still you're gonna see it right. Even though you see it as you know blue, but still it's gonna be red. Why? Because your sinful eyes can never see, okay, the heavenly, okay, because this our eyes already being corrupt. That is the first attack we receive right in Genesis three. He attacked our eyes. All right. So that is the polluted blood, which is the red. Obviously, you are not going to Yahushua the, the, the author. That is why he has to come by Abi Yewa himself. That is why all this red blood is not needed. That is why Abi Yewa took over himself. In order because it is the blue blood that comes for life. Listen to part two. Okay? Not the red blood. The red blood throughout the scriptures simply make it so clear to us that it is what? Corruption. It's a sign of corruption. So obviously, even though we, we saw it, or uh, even though right at the cross, uh, cross excuse me, is bleeding out red, that it, it has to be so. You can never see heavy with your natural eye, mm -mm, except the glorified body. Mm -hmm. Here I am, Matthew 26, 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. So what is sins? It is the man of sin we're talking about here which is what the dragon okay the serpent the folly seraphims who off his light and now become white he already disconnected himself set something ablaze and let it burn to ashes so what is gonna what color are you going to get white that is the mystery we are unveiling over here the mystery of black you see the fire now he got three colors okay fire actually got four colors okay the very first one, it is what? Very light brown. Very, very light. That is what they call Afghast or whatever. Very light brown. We goes now by the second one. What does that go? Dark brown. Okay. Then we go uh, brown color. Then we go, yeah, dark brown. Then what, what is the other color? Black from fire. And when the whole matter is being burnt to ashes, the fire is off. Then you got white ashes. And that is where we what we are hitting on the folly deity, the deity which is the folly seraphim, switch off the lights. So it now became, you know, the father of the white race. Don't get it twisted. It can also, you know, give birth to a black people. Okay. So right now the blood we are still talking about over here. Now we are unveiling. I, that was why what I said apart to I'm so careless. Whose feelings is hot? I don't care because I'm doing confirmation here. Deuteronomy 27, 26, make it so clear. We are unveiling the origin of black, where it all begins, and the origin of white people, where it all begins. So I don't care how you feel. I'm just doing some confirmation over here, regardless how you feel. Mm -mm. Okay, I need to do the, word, the confirmation to confirm the book. All right, now here we are, Matthew 13, 24 to 30, but I'm jumping over again. I start, I think, 28. And he said unto him, an enemy... All right, now let me just take it here 28. He said unto him, An enemy hath done this. Okay, the servant said unto him, What thou there that we go? Okay, okay, will thou there that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, list why ye gather up the tails, ye root up also the wind with them. So let both let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest. I will say, okay, to the reapers, gather ye to gather first the tails and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wind into my whatever <laughs> storehouse. <laughs> All right, now, so you see the whole that is why sin is growing with righteousness. Listen to part two. That is why Numbers chapter 4, we see what blue, 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 every instrument, every single instrument in the temple is being covered with blue. So the one that is being covered, the sure bread, yeah, that is our food, spiritual food and physical food. You know, you spray, so we should spread the, you know, the blue cloth down and put every food, okay? On top of it, there afterwards, you cover with a scarlet. Mm? You not cover with a scarlet. All right, so the scarlet now is the blood, the red blood, okay? The very one, you know, 
and it's saving for now. He said, let both grow together. So both sin and righteousness, they are together. Okay, both the scarlet, you know, or blood or red blood and the blue, they are going together. But at the end, the red blood is going to who corrupted it, which is the folly seraphims, while the blue blood will serve eternal. So that is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Excuse me, the, knowledge, the tree of life, excuse me, in Genesis 3. Okay, I think 24, so the very last verse, okay. He said, least man will bring out, stretch forth his hand to touch or to take from the tree of life. And you live in eternal domination. So that is why the blue blood is being disconnected and they called it disogenated blood. So now we are done with the blue, blue uh, blood part. So we want to dig now into the red blood. It's a sign of corruption in our body. We see that the first man was not even... Uh, before, until the fall, he was not having blood. He said, the flesh of my flesh and the bone of my bone. He did not say the blood of my blood. And we also see that from Yahushua. He said, for flesh, uh, for spirit does he have flesh and the bones. The same blood, the same languages, of, okay? And the glorified body, no red blood. That's what we are dealing with over here. The red blood is a sign of corruption in our system. And who did that to us? The folly seraphim, who of who quenched his fire and now became white, which is the white race today. So here I am, Genesis 3.15. And I will put enemy to between thee, speaking to the serpent, and the woman, the very one that opened the door for the serpent to come in. And between thy seed and her seed, is speaking of nationality. He shall bruise thy head, and thou shall uh, 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 bruise his heel. That is what we are going through now. Healing and peace is going together. Listen unto the woman. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. So what, do, what come before your conception? Blood is a cause. That's what we see every month. And when you are, it's a, it's a sign of corruption because the system is already being corrupted. It's a cause. The red blood, it is a cause. It is what the serpent put in us. It is the genetic modified organism of the serpent inside of us. Just like the gold blighter, all right, and like the clothing. We were clothed with garment of light. Revelation 12. We see the woman, what was that dressy? Clothing. Okay? The first month until the fourth, they were not altogether naked. No, the garment of light was their clothing. All right? Until serpent came and took that away from him, from them. So what are we putting onto the filthy garment? Filthy compared to what we once had. This is filthy. All right. Our clothing was just light, but Abba you was so called. He said, "Let both grow together now." All right. Even in, according to our head test you. Serpent also attack the people of the book, the chosen one race that is going to be transformed in back to angelic be. Our head tests you. He make it so hard. Why? He not gave the wisdom to his children to be making a relaxer in order for us to be imitating his own children. Did you see the hair of white people is strange? He now so gave us that teaching now, you know, to be imit imitating his own children. Because normally when we are coming away, it's so hard. Sometimes I do cry, but now I don't relax. Almost three years now, I just go with my natural. I don't put no... No relaxer, no nonsense of the weaver because he came from the loins of serpent. Okay, just to enslave us. That is all his teaching and genetic modified organism in ox, like death. In initial labor, he never created death. But he succor. That is the punishment, is the cause. So before you get, get pregnant, what, 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 what first of all comes? The blood is the cause from Abba Yehua. Here, right here. Yeshiyahu Isaiah 50, uh, 63, 8 to 9. For he said, Surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved them in his love and in his pity. He redeemed them and he bore them and carried them all the days of old. Where did he start the carry? Right in Genesis 3. He, as we were being afflicted, you know, with this cause. He also shared part. The angel of his presence is the biblical Messiah. The author of that came to redeem, you know, his own. Okay, from the causes of destruction. All right. So prior to this, what we are dealing with over here, Adam being called red simply means Adam is in danger of hell. Because danger of hell was all over him, which is what? 
the dragon, the folly seraphims, the very one that half is like and I become white. So here we are again. Uh, uh, where is it? Mm, oh, my father. All right, now. Isaiah 1, verses 18. What, what is red? Blood. Sin. Leviticus 15. Go through it. When a woman is in blood, you need to be cast out. And whatever, wherever you sit, it's unclean now. Okay? Whatever you touch, is unclean. That is blood. That is what you have right now that is counting now. But is but. It's not the reality. No. Now, Mark chapter 5, 24 to 34. The woman of issue of blood, she's now became ugly because blood is overflowing. Okay. So, I put some more. I think I have to read this Leviticus 15. Let me just read one part for you, 25. And if a woman have an issue, have an issue of, of her blood many days out of the time of her separation, or if it turn beyond the time of her Separation all the days of the issue of her uncleanliness, you see, said blood is uncleanliness, shall be as the days of her separation until she she shall be separation, she shall be clean. Yeah, excuse me, she shall be unclean. Why seeing that blood? You are not unclean. That is what is saying over here. How can I read 19? I should have read read, read 19 first. All right, now I go, I come back to 19. And if a woman have an issue and her issue is in her flesh. Be blood, she shall be put apart seven days, and whosoever toucheth her shall be unclean until even. Seven days, do you know what that is? Each day represents a thousand, a day as a thousand, a thousand as a day. Now, until when the cleansing will take place, the, the seven thousand years. That is where the glorified body will come for the elect, okay? And that is where the blue blood, that is what we are unveiling here, because the very first letter of this one called black, simply go forward. Blue blood lineage, not red. Red is, is corruption. It's a symbol and a sign of corruption right from where? Genesis 3. Here I am. Ezekiel 16, verses 9. Then wash I thee with water. That is still the blood white cell, the one they also call uh, leukocyte or white blood cell in us. We also have white blood, okay? And uh, what is this job? It's protecting and def uh, defending our body from any diseases. Wherever disease or yeah virus is in our body, he located it and fight it out. And that is the water, the word of Abbey, where any pollution in your system is washing and is cleansing until the very end of pollution, which is you know, Allah the dragon. Yeah, okay, listen, and then I take it again. Then washed I thee with water, yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee and i anointed thee with oil yeah. so what is oil yeah? the roa hakodesh it is the blue blood the very desoginated one in you now but you cannot see even though you put a needle over the dragon you're gonna see red why yeah because you are not allowed to see it this our eyes is so filled it cannot behold at all the unseen world the heaven the abbey itself listen to part two now, Leviticus 7, uh, 17, 11, read it, it's still talking about life in the blood. So, blood must count for life. But the pencil on it, you see the red blood? It's going to also count for eternal destruction. For them, these two blood, they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are serving for a different reason. Okay? It's going to serve as etern for eternal destruction for serpent and his children. Why the blood will serve for eternal life for the people of the book? Okay, because life that is that that is what life is, all right. Because we must be given a glorified body, so the blue blood is the heaven itself in the life of the choosing. Now, when you also go to that same Leviticus 17 14, it speaks of it again blood cast for life that is the earthly system, but in the heavenly system, there's not. The blue, what we are talking about, the blue, it is the eternal life, both for angel and for us over here. But our body is different from that of angel, okay? Because I said they don't have flesh and uh, blood, uh, flesh and bone. Excuse me. So we does have flesh and bone. I don't know how they look like, okay? So let me not just go into that. Let me be speaking about the very one I know. Now, Revelation 12, 11. Said overcame him, the dragon, by the blood of the lamb. 
not the red blood. The red blood is a corruptible, is corrupted. So there is no corrupt able, uh, blood in the altar of life. You can be seeing it as red, but it is the blue blood, the heaven itself he brought down to humanity. That is what we are dealing with over here. Here I am, Revelation, we want to speak about the blood of redemption that will count for all eternity. Revelation 1.5 And from Yehoshua Hamishiach, who is the faithful witness, and the first uh, begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood. He's speaking of the blue blood. Hallelujah. Revelation 5.9 and they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to Yehovah by thy blood, out of every kindred, and tongue, and people, and nation. To Abbe Yehovah be all glory, He's speaking of about the a glorified body blood, which Yehoshua have eternal, because John 3, or 1 John 3, to say, we will be like him. The blood, the blue blood, which is the heavy, eternal. First John chapter one verse seven. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Yehoshua Hamishiach his son cleanseth us from all sin. It is the blue blood. Hallelujah. Here we are, out of Apostle twenty twenty eight. Take heed thereof unto yourselves and to all the flocks over which the Ruach HaKodesh hath made you overseers to feed the, uh, the congregation of Yehovah which he hath purchased with his own blood, the blue of blood. The F itself is being called plan, uh, blue planet. You see the sky, you see the, the sea, the river, the blue ocean. Yes, it speaks of this earth is nothing else but Abba Yehovah. Here we are, Colossians chapter 1, verses 20. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say, whether there be things in earth or things in hell, it is his blood that cleanses the holies of holies, not the corruptible one, not the red blood, but the blue blood. The one you yourself can testify about. Even though you cannot see it with your own two naked eyes, but you see the sign. Yes, it is for you not to forget who you are. Uh -huh. And speaking to the people of the book. Here we are, First Peter 18 to 19. For as much as ye know that ye we are not redeemed with corruptible things as gold and as silver and gold, you were not redeemed by the corruptible blood. But the incorruptible, which is the blue blood, okay? That's what we are talking about here. From your vein, a conversation received by tradition from your fathers, okay? From the vein conversation, what, that is Genesis 3. That conversation was so demonic, and we see what he brought today unto us, verses 19. Now. But with the precious blood of Yehoshua, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. That is the blue blood. Okay, you can be seeing it as red blood. We are speaking of the invisible. So the visible one is going to be ministered unto you, the invisible one. And the invisible one is the one that is going to come last. Okay, and it can't for what? Eternal. Yeah. Now, John chapter 6, John chapter 6, verses uh, 53. Yahushua said, except, except you eat my body and drink my blood. There is no eternal life for you. No eternal life in you. So what is this body? That represents now the Old Testament, the Old Covenant. So what is this blood? The New Testament. Except you eat both of it. No eternal life. Because as you are eating both the old, you learn from our, mist our father mistakes. And you blend it up with the new that consummate and redeem us from the mistakes of the old. Therefore the blood, blood is going to be stirred up. Get ready to carry you for all eternity. It is the heaven. Listen to part two. It was profoundly, powerfully established. It is awesome. Now, what is the blood of Abel? Okay, that is crying out, you know, from the ground. What, is, what, 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 what could that be? Here I am, Genesis 4. I just take from 9. You can take from 1. And Yehovah said, okay, should I, let me read one. Yeah, I have a message over there. Thank you, Abihua. 
Ari verses 1. Adam knew his wife, okay, Kawa, and she conceived and bore K, and said, I have gotten a ma from the Lord. Let me call it so now. So, you know, who is the Lord? But now you'll be thinking, Abbe Yehuah. Sorry. He is not referring to Abbe Yehuah. He is referring to the one who got her pregnant. He is the God of this world that blinded the eyes of men never to see the glorious light of this gospel of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Where did this start blinding our eyes? Right in Genesis 3. He promised the woman that God had, I'm going to make you a God. Because I am a God, I'm also going to make you a God. And indeed, he got her pregnant. We see the seed nationality. And I promise her the Godhead. He is the one she is ascribing Cain unto. We see Abba Yehua rejected the, the, the sacrifices of Cain. Why? Because Cain is the firstborn of the serpent. Go and take your offering unto him. And Abel is the firstborn of the blue blood. Abba Yehua accepted. This is my bugly. So right now I throw that light. It's not Yehua. He has he said he has gotten a man from you know the Lord. Okay, that is Baal Pure. He is gotten a man from Allah, which is the fallen seraphim, the red dragon. That you okay, the red dragon. So that is why Cain carried out the words of his father, the devil. Okay, so he's not speaking to Abbe Yehua and let no one get it twisted. He is speaking to the one who gave her the power of conception. Here I am now, verses 9. We call, we, yeah, verses 9. Up. And you once said unto Cain, Where is Abel, thy brother? And he said, I know not. Ah, am I my brother's keeper? Now, who is keeper? Who is he's speaking of shepherd? Am I the one to shepherd him for you? <laughs> am I the one to guide him for you? Now, this see the serpent, he's mocking. Okay. The words of Yahushua, because Yahushua is the keeper of the sheep. He is the shepherd. So why are you asking me of your son? Am I the one to keep him for you? <laughs> am I the one? <laughs> am, I, am I his keeper? My brother's keeper? No. Am I, I'm, I'm not his shepherd. Okay? So he's just throwing uh, his rotty teeth. Okay? At the words of salvation. Because K himself knew where he came from. He's referring... To the sheep, uh, to the, sh the great shepherd, the keeper of the sheep. Right now, we proceed to verses 10. And I said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground, and now hast thou cast, okay, from the earth, which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. So now, Abel is dead, but the blood cries for what? Now, why, why was Abel you know, be murdered? Why? Because Abel Yehovah accept his offering, okay? And that of Cain being rejected. So quickly, we are going to Matthew 23 and see Cain uttered, excuse me, Abel uttered in faith because Abel saw Abel Yehovah right in Genesis 3. 21, he makes an animal sacrifice. When he said he covered them with a skin, uh, 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 with a skin, whatever, skin garment, necessarily, he is not talking of clothing again. Okay, let me take it so. He is talking of, you know, protection from destruction. That is why I read, Miss Danger, Miss Hot Water, something that is going to bounce you. Okay, now, he is speaking of cover, which is the works of redemption. And Abel laid down from, the, from his father. So that was why he was the keeper of the sheep. Okay? Of flocks. So first of all, I want to read here before I hit on it. <laughs> Alright, now here I am. Matthew 23, 33 to 34. Yes, serpents. Ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the domination of hell? <laughs> 24. Wherefore, be, uh, wherefore, behold, I said unto you, prophets, plural, and wise men, and scribes, and some of them ye shall keep and crucify, and some of them ye shall scorch in your synagogues, and persecute them from city to city, 
that upon you, listen, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth. Because the earth is crying out, Abel's blood is crying out in the four corner of the earth. From the blood, rich, listen, from the blood of, of righteous Abel, unto the blood of Zechariah, son of Bacchariah, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. So, now, who was the first prophet? It is Abel. It's a prophet. Abel was the first prophet. Now, Matthew 5, 17, what did Yahushua say, the author of life? Don't even think about it. But I've come to abolish the law. No, the prophet. Rather, I come to fulfill. So, this is how he came to fulfill Abel. And this is why his blood is better than that of Abel. Because the blood of Abel is crying out for vengeance, incapable, okay, to redeem the entire world. But he is crying out in the four corner of the earth, all right, for Yahushua, which is the consummation of all prophets, to avenge that blood, the serpent who stopped the flow of the blue blood, and now instituted a polluted blood. That is the cry of the blood of Abel. Because Abel is the first prophet. Abel is the one that sacrificed animal. He shared the blood of animal. That was what Abiyahu accept his offering. Why? Because he, is, he, he, he already put in practice that which Yehoshua is coming, is coming to do. Making an intercession for his lineage and his generation. But can't stop that. So that was why Serpent is, uh, 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 incited Okay, to kill him because he was thinking, because now you are doing the works of salvation. So serpent is thinking, hey, is this the you know the seed of the woman? Hey, now you are sharing blood. Okay, you are making animal sacrifices. Oh, for protection and hey, from domination of of fire. He is tear up his son and go and stop that flow. But Abel blood still cried. This is why he cried. He is still crying to Yahushua from the four corner of the earth for every seed of king. To be wiped out. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. Okay? Not the one that co not, not we that the blood is already being corrupted inside of us, but the, rather the one that corrupt corrupts that blood. Okay? That is the one he is crying to Yehoshua to destroy him and all his seed, which is K is number one. Out of this earth. Rather, K is the number one demon produced into flesh. Okay, or rather the, the number the first giant on earth. Alright, now here I am. Hebrews uh, 11 verses 4 By faith, Abel offered unto Yehovah a more excellent sacrifice than what came, by which he obtained witness. What witness? That he was righteous. Okay? Yehovah testifying of his gifts, and by it he be dead, yet speaketh. He died, but the blood speaks. Okay, and Yahushua came to consummate the blood of Abel. It's vengeance, hard one, eternal. Okay, that is the link of fire. All right, the blood of Abel cries for the link of fire to be hot 24 hours. All right, to roast serpent, the very one that off his light, that disconnected his light. Okay, where fire keep burning and burning, and everything is you no know, burns to ashes. What color are you going to have? White color. So that's. He, that is how he off his own light by going into the daughters of men, lusting after, after flesh, doing this wickedness and bringing forth giants, okay, into this world. All right. So Abba Yehwa bear witnesses to K, excuse me, to Abel, his sacrifice by faith. His father has already taught him. This is how he clotted us. Okay. This is how he, you know, uh, uh. Oh, 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 oh. This is the promise he gave unto us because that is where the works of atonement begin. This is the promise he gave unto us, okay? Of course, that the seed of the woman is going to crush the head of serpent, okay? So, by faith, Abel get along with his own father and begin to do as a prophet and begin to do the works of redemption and sacrifice until Yehoshua will come. And Yehoshua said he has come to fulfill, okay, the prophets. All right, so this is how he's fulfilling the prophets. All right, the blood of Abel is still crying in the four corner of the earth. All right, now here we are, First John, three twelve. Not as Cain, 
who was of that okay should i take it for let from 11 for this is the message that ye heard from the beginning that is genesis that we should love one another but Sepe cannot love no because he, he have he have no love okay but yehua not as king who was of that wicked one that old Sempe, where that wicked shall review is speaking to the folly seraphim who quenched his own light. All right, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him because his own works were evil. So, what evil? What evil? His works is from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. John 8 44, you are of your father the devil. The works of your father you would do. Because it is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That is why Christianity still carry the banner of this serpent. Every December now, you know, their Christmas is, is also on its way coming now. You will see they will carry the symbol of their father, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in their house. They are still entertaining demons just to devour the righteous one. Because his deed was evil. Now the sacrifices of Abel, he did unto his, excuse me. Yes, the sacrifices of Cain, he said because his works were evil. So that sacrifice Cain make, he did not make it unto Abbe Yehuwa like Christianity sacrifice today. No, it's unto the serpent, the folly deity, or the folly seraphims, okay, which is Allah and ghost fire of the Christendom. Now let's see the works of Cain, uh, Abel, excuse me. Okay, because he said because he because his own works were evil. Yes, he did the works of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Listen, uh, and his brother's righteous. His brother, what is righteous? Righteous is to have the right stand with Abi Yehuah. Okay, Yahushua, so what I see my father do, that's what I do. Okay, Abi Yehuah, uh -huh, my father told me that you just little animal. And you now use the, the skin to cover up, all right? Uh, uh, um, mm, mm. My father and my mother, prior to the sin that took place, all right, now me, I'm also going to walk along with you. I'm going to sacrifice. That was what Abel did. He sacrificed Anima, okay, as the very first prophet in anticipation of that which Yahushua, the consummator of all prophets, would do when he comes. So this is how Yahushua is doing it all. His blood, which is the blue blood, no sign of corruption, the heaven itself, eternal itself, the complement of it all, is destroying the serpent that gave us the red blood, and all his seed out of this earth, and sent them all to the eternal link of fire. Here I am, <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 12, verses 24. And to Yehoshua, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of splinking, is speaking of the blue, eternal blood, that speaketh better things than that of Abel, because the blood of Yehoshua is the one to consummate what the blood of Abel is crying out for, because you stop the flow, you pollute the, the blue blood, you stop the flow of the blue, uh, uh, blue uh, blood, because of the wickedness you did, Abbe Yehoshua disconnected that blue blood, and your owner is the one serving, his blood now begins to cry because you stop the flow. Now for vengeance, you must be destroyed and all your seed. Now, that is what we are unveiling over here. This walk up black, listen to when so it is powerful. So right now, when you off light, or when you say whatever I please, okay, it's burning. When it has wet, you know, done, what happened? So fire now, you now see ashes. That is the color that is going to give you at the end of it all. So which is the very white people that say that same. I don't care what you feel. All right. So I'm just confirming, doing a confirmation. All right. To what I found in the royal law. According to the Deuteronomy 27, 26. Enoch 105 makes that one so clear unto us. All right. Now here I am. Ezekiel 20, uh, 28 verses 18. And again, don't get it twisted. Doing this. I never me. I never said that all blacks are the children of you who are separate. Also have a black. Some black people, of course, as all, are also the children of serpents. Not only white people. 
And why people is also coming into the kingdom, I'm not saying this to please you, but I'm just saying what I saw right in the royal law. Okay, so that will be in the point one, how white people is found in the kingdom. So that is the only point we have. So I want to read now, Ezekiel 28, 18. Thou hast defied thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thy iniquities, by the iniquity of thy traffic. Therefore will I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee, it shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. He says, it's going to roast you, and I'm going to turn you into ashes. So what color did you get from ashes? White. And this is where they came from. I see the serpent. Black people is also there. Don't get it twisted. Because really also, when you can also check out some uh, uh, ashes. Okay, when it's not really that well burnt, it also turn black. You can also get black color. And that is why you see snakes, serpent with all kinds of different colors. He can, you know, duplicate it all. But the actual color, because he has already been deformed, okay? It's already been, you know, disoriented. So right now, he come to ashes. And then he got his white color. That is where he came from. White color. White people. When you are talking of colors, I'm establishing what black color is. In order for me to get that clear, pass out the message, I need to deal with the white also. Okay? So family follow up now with part of four. So one of gold and of the gay, the letter L. These are all profound, powerfully, unspeakable. So this is Allah, the red dragon, the folly seraphims, right in Genesis 3. He quenched the light. He want to make himself like the monster. The monster you will have children. He also said he want to have children. So we, that is why we see all satanic children everywhere because we are in the days of Noah and in the days of Lot. That is where we are right now spiritually. First Corinthians 15 verses 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of you, while neither doeth corruption inherit in corruption. So the red blood is not going away. It's going to the link of fire. Only the blue blood in your vein, that is the one to inherit the kingdom.